welcome back to the realm of unpopular opinions and i am being a little bit more quiet because it's late i just really really felt like doing this tag because it felt it sounded like so much fun i haven't done a tag in a while because i feel like the ones that i do find are a little bit dull on the other hand this one actually seems pretty fun so let's do it You can't see it can you we have the computer so if you see me looking down like that's why i just feel like i have to clarify otherwise it's weird me just doing this all the time but yes this is the random book tag that i found called a to z survey i one thing you need to know about me surveys anything prompted like if you ever ask me to do a survey i would do it like for your college exam for a college essay there are like university surveys that the uh, graduates send out for their thesis. I will do any survey on anything, even if I have nothing to do with it. But I've rambled enough. The first question is, author you've read the most books from. Now, unfortunately, because manga counts, <laughs> since I started reading manga, manga counts. I think, I think it's between Bungo and attack on titan because that has 34 volumes and bungo if you like count the books too which obviously you do because it's the same author then it's close like it's 33 pardon i was saying that if we're not counting those two it would have to be it would have to be wheel of time because like 15 books i don't think many authors really have that many books in general so it would have to be Robert Jordan or or the mangas next up is best sequel ever now I really really wasn't sure about this one but I think it has to go to Winter Night because I've never been that impressed with the first book thought to myself this has actually been decently wrapped up how is this a series and then reading the next book in a day and being like that's that's how this is a series like girl in the tower is ironically Catherine's favorite book like a recent live show that i watched with her she said that girl in the tower is her favorite book i consider it the best sequel because it raises the stakes while keeping the spirit and the emotion and just the vibe of the beginning while still making it different it's a bit less atmospheric than the first book, but she makes it intentional because when Vasya feels suffocated by the city, you kind of feel that in the writing and you feel the lack of what happened in the first book. So that has to be has to be the best sequel that I've ever read. There are probably others, many others, but this is the first that comes to mind, given that I didn't think book one could really be topped. I hate keep saying next up, so I feel like I should just read out the question and make it less awkward. Currently reading, by the way, this is A to Z, so it's literally, you get it. <laughs> Currently reading several books, but it has to be Age of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. I'm also reading a couple other, like I'm reading a manga and I'm reading another book, but currently reading is like what I'm reading tonight. <laughs> because i want to see whether this series deserves a shot or not like if this book i'm indifferent towards like i was towards the first book i will not be buying the rest <laughs> the rest of the series because indifference sometimes is worse than hatred like hatred means i actually felt something about a book i feel nothing about this like you could tell me that every one of these characters apart from the wolf <laughs> Is gonna die next chapter and I wouldn't bat an eye. I couldn't care less. I don't hate them but I don't like them either and neither is really a good thing when you're trying to get me invested in a six book series. <laughs> so that's what I'm currently reading. Drink of choice while reading has to be tea. Obviously I drink coffee too but tea. Every time that I'm 
sitting down with a book, I kind of imagine drinking tea, in, even in the summer when I don't drink as much. I prefer just having tea while I'm sitting down to read. I will always drink it, but it might get a little cold in the summer. Tea. I mean, it's either tea or coffee. I can't imagine someone being like a glass of milk is the drink that I'm having when I'm reading a book. E-reader or physical book, I don't think I really need to respond to this. Like, I don't think I need to respond to this. I will read an ebook when I have to. I have many ebooks that I don't want to buy. Like an example that I will give later, I think. But no, always, always physical book. <laughs> Fictional character you probably would have actually dated in high school or college, whichever. I am going to have to be my old self with this one but as I think I stated in in another video I don't like characters to an extreme very often I literally have four maybe five actual characters that I feel that level of emotion towards <laughs> so considering this is a book channel I'm going to be my old self and just say Maven from Red Queen. I already stated I had like 700 pages of fan fiction that I wrote just for myself in this universe with him, which teenagers, teenagers, am I right? But I have to be generic and say this <laughs> because I feel like I would be lying otherwise. It has been him. It will be him. I'm sorry. I, I'm not sorry, <laughs> but I'm sorry that I have to give such a generic answer because I'm sure people will come up with something funny like, oh, I would have dated so-and-so in high school. I would have dated him in high school and probably would have married him if he didn't die at 18. <laughs> but that's another issue that I do not want to address. It's very realistic also because I think I read it just when I was going into high school, so... Glad you gave this book a chance. I think you know what I'm going to say for this. Maybe you don't. Dune. I definitely did not want to give this book a chance. I think until the trailer came out, I never wanted to read that book ever. All I heard were bad things. Like it was unreadable, dull, incomprehensible, difficult to get through. <laughs> and then I picked it up and I think I read it in like max three sittings so I proved myself wrong there definitely I finished that trilogy it's a great book <laughs> so I'm very glad I gave it a chance because I'm not sure I ever would have if not for my random excitement about the trailer I'm not even sure I would have liked the movie if I hadn't read the book so it's like all coming full circle hidden gem book I really wasn't sure about this but I'm gonna have to pair up myself a little because I want everyone to read these. We're gonna highlight Traces for now but Stoneheart too. Traces because I see everyone talking about cozy mysteries. This is like a dystopian cozy mystery because the friendship is phenomenal between the detective and the robot the mysteries are actually cool it's cozy because it's like definitely YA and not as gruesome but it is still also like dystopian mystery it needs to be read I will highlight these books as many times as possible because I've never in my life seen them anywhere I never would have known about these books if I didn't live in the library <laughs> when I was 13 traces absolute hidden gem important moment in your reading life I guess getting back into reading I mean I was a reader my whole life but during those like two and a half years like sixth and seventh grade I was having other issues so I wasn't reading but I guess getting back into it I remember thinking like why am I hating books it turns out I didn't hate books. I just hated everything. <laughs> but Red Queen also kind of saved me from that one, which is, again, ironic, considering that I hate that series so much. But I guess that's an important moment in my reading life, like getting back into it. 
just finished what book did I just finish Howl's Moving Castle <laughs> I read that on ebook because I didn't know if I wanted to buy it I will obviously talk more about this in another video and stuff and my thoughts and whatever but I rewatched the movie I really wanted to finally actually read the book didn't know if I would want to buy it so I read this on ebook but that's the last book that I finished kinds of books you won't read <laughs> I don't want to be mean and say romance because it can happen. What books do I actually know? Nonfiction. Nonfiction. I mean, I'm not coming for you when I say this. It's just in my own reading life. I don't consider nonfiction books. I don't consider them books. It's practically like having a published blog post from someone. Like, it's not a book. You didn't come up with this. You just sat down and wrote about something that was true or something that you know about or something that you researched. So maybe that is a bit of a cop-out answer because like I read nonfiction online sometimes when I'm interested in something. So I don't think that counts. What type of book would I never read? Horror? I guess horror. I never... Yeah, I think that's a genre that I would never read that I'm not interested in book-wise, movie-wise. <laughs> anything wise so I guess I guess that would count as an answer longest book you've read now technically it's definitely <laughs> death note because that is like the all-in-one edition it has 2400 pages but since that is cheating a little bit <laughs> I'm going to have to say that it's definitely Lord of Chaos no that's Crown of Swords <laughs> Lord of Chaos which I think has like over a thousand pages. There's probably something that I've read that's a little longer, but I think Lord of Chaos is like top in terms of long books. Major book hangover because of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, 100%. I didn't even have to think about this one because again, when I read Lord of the Rings for my birthday three years ago now, three years ago now, I could not pick up a book or even consider picking up a book for like three weeks after that. Talk, talk about a book hangover. I just felt immersed to the point of insanity. And I was like, I cannot even consider other stories because this doesn't feel like a story to me. That's how immersed I was. That's what happens when you binge read something like that. But I didn't even have to think about this one. Number of bookcases you own. Um, in my room, it's three. But in the house, I think it's like nine or ten. When you like tally them all, I think it's nine or ten. One book you have read multiple times. I'm a big rereader. We know this. What book have I reread the most is a very decent question. What book do I reread a lot? <laughs> I don't know because I feel like all of my favorites I've read at least at least three times so I don't think like one really stands out that I've read it more than that. Yeah I don't think funnily enough I think Watchmen might be approaching my most read book because I realized that since I first read Watchmen I've had the need to read it every single summer. I have to read Watchmen like in July or August or my summer wasn't my summer. So Watchmen is approaching I think being my most reread but I'm genuinely not sure because I feel like they've all kind of evened out in terms of how many times I've reread them. I don't have an answer for this. If you know and you you correct me like you said you read so and so five times I'm sorry <laughs> it's late. Preferred place to read, I love reading outside, but since I don't have a house and there are neighbors who can see and hear you, and I sometimes do like to giggle and comment on stuff, I don't like reading outside where I live, but I like reading outside. So reading outside, but since I don't do it, given the circumstances, I'm gonna have to say, I mean, my room. The only place where I do actually read so this is a little bit stupid of an answer actually 
quote that inspires you gives you all the feels from a book you've read. I straight up forgot about this question, so I had to email myself just to find the quote. But here's the quote. It's from Earthsea. I am not sure which one, though. We men dream dreams. We work magic. We do good. We do evil. The dragons do not dream. They are dreams. They do not work magic. It is their substance, their being. They do not do. They are. I recently saw that like on one of the websites or whatever. <laughs> I want to say Twitter. I just love that quote so much. I love that quote so much because it means so much in terms of the world and in terms of the book. I love that quote. So, Ursula. Reading regret. I think I definitely regret not looking up a lot of books that I have read. Like, obviously, the stuff that I did read wasn't all for nothing. Like, something like Circe, something like Darker Shade of Magic. Like, all the crap that I read did contribute to a lot of rants, I guess. But I really wish I would have started looking into what I buy and what I read way sooner. Like, I prefer my reading preferences as they are now. I think I used to be very negatively open-minded like I thought I would like something when it was very obvious that I wouldn't so kind of did it to myself. Series you started and need to finish all the books are out. I don't do this. I genuinely don't do this. If it's as I said in my last video if it's something I like and all the books are out I will finish it. I don't have unfinished series unless I don't want to finish them. So I think this would, again, be kind of the only example. What is it called? Legends of the First Empire. All the books are out. I don't know if I'm going to finish it yet or not. So I guess that counts for two. Three of your all-time favorite books. <laughs> I don't want to keep repeating myself, genuinely. <laughs> Winter Night, The Wheel of Time. Lord of the Rings, Dune, Earthsea. Dune actually not not that much but if we're looking at manga all the manga that I have on my shelves like Tokyo Ghoul, Noragami, like I don't feel <laughs> I don't think you need to really ask what my favorite books are at this point. <laughs> they are kind of all I talk about. V for Vendetta. There you go. <laughs> Unapologetic fangirl for nature nature anything in books like <laughs> I am an unapologetic fangirl for nature vibes I know I used to hate descriptions especially in high school with all those classics that you had to read that were actually very stupid and unreadable but you had to read them because school I went to a language school too so anything anything that describes nature I'm there for though you want to tell me about the types of trees I am unapologetically fangirling for that kind of writing. If it's buildings, architecture, chairs, I'm out. But if you want to tell me what a forest looks like, right away. Absolutely right away. <laughs> Very excited for this release more than all the others. I don't really have this. I guess we could say the graphic novel of Dune, which comes out next year because I recently bought the first two and I'm looking forward to the last one because I will get Alia in that one. Worst bookish habit. I guess the thing that I mentioned before, not really, hate, hate reading sometimes. Definitely hate reading because I know I will hate this book, but at least I will get to talk about it. That is a bad, bad, bad habit that I have. Like reading a book I know I'm not going to like just because I want to rant about it. But to be fair, I like hating on things sometimes. It's very, very cathartic in a way to just bitch <laughs> unapologetically about something that you really, really viscerally hated. But I'm not sure what the worst habit would be for me. I think that would be it though. <laughs> I'm not going to correct it because I like it, but that would definitely be my worst habit. X marks the spot. Start at the top of your, the top left of your shelf and pick up the 27th book. I did this before the video, obviously. So the 27th off the top left shelf, top left corner of the shelf was the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes in these very, very cheap, like, 
a couple pound editions that my dad bought when he was in England. So here it is. That was the 27th book. This is a very random prompt, but it's very fun. That's the worst shelf you could have told me to pick from because it's cluttered. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Your latest book purchase. I hate it when I re repeat myself inside a video, but I do think it's Howl's Moving Castle. <laughs> I did like the book, so I'm buying it. Technically, I didn't buy it yet. Like, I will buy it tomorrow, but when you see this, it will be my latest purchase. So, Howl's Moving Castle. Last question. ZZZ Snatcher Book. Last book that, ke Last book that kept you up way late. Hmm. Way late. It's a very good question. <laughs> I'm not sure if I read East of Eden into the night because I think I mostly read that during the day. No, it's not East of Eden. Then it probably has to be The Wheel of Time because I know I finished Fires of Heaven at night because I tend to read at night and I think I finished Fires of Heaven at night. But again, kept me into the night. I am always awake at night, so that definition really isn't <laughs> isn't the best for me. Like kept you into the night. I think for me, kept me up would be till like seven in the morning, but that hasn't happened in a while. So we're going to go with Fires of Heaven. That wraps up the video. I kind of actually do hope you enjoyed it because this was a lot of fun. I've been really liking this like more casual format where I literally just sit down and talk. Whereas the other videos where I have to like continuously do this with the books is a little bit jarring. So let me know how you feel about it because my opinion does still a bit outweigh yours because I'm doing this as a hobby but I do value the opinions of anyone who wants to listen to my hobby. So how do you feel about it? Do you really, really actually like the kind of formatty videos or do you enjoy the chit chatty ones? So this was very fun, I have to say, and I did kind of resort to just doing the images, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope anyone who wants to do this tag and is on YouTube will do it because tags are some of the videos that I can watch almost anyone do like it doesn't matter who you are i will watch you make a tag because again i'm a huge quiz and survey person i will watch anything you do that's formatted in this exact layout so i'll see you in the next video